So today I'm going to be debating um, topic four, um, which is um, that U.S. intelligence through the CIA and other agencies has not had a positive effect for U.S. foreign policy. So if we look back to the beginnings of American foreign policy, we can trace things back to Manifest Destiny and to the Monroe Doctrine, basically in the Western Hemisphere, that America wanted to exert its influence over the hemisphere, it wanted to not let the European powers colonize, and it wanted to spread democracy and um, capitalism to the rest of the, of the Western Hemisphere, to Latin America specifically. Um, much later on, when the United States began to exert its influence over um, the, the Latin American countries um, in South America and Central America, specifically is a good example of starting to show how um, the CIA's involvement um, was pretty much disastrous um, although there was always the public intention to uh, spread democracy and of course um, at the advent of the Cold War against the Soviet Union our our intent was to stop the spread of communism throughout the world and the CIA was used in a, um, a variety of different clandestine operations. Um, one of the earliest was Guatemala, where through the lobbying campaigns of the United Fruit Company, the CIA, well, the Eisenhower administration was convinced to intervene to depose what they erroneously felt was a, um, a leftist-leaning government um, and replace it with um, a coup d'etat that would replace it with a, a uh, military leader who was more in line with their beliefs. Eventually they did do that. Um, the leader that they put into place immediately rolled back a lot of the um, reforms that were made by the, by the leftist leadership and almost immediately crushed democracy in the country. Um, but this intervention convinced the CIA and the American government that intervening in other countries' affairs to stop communism and to spread democracy was something that they could do. Um, but the next 40 to 50, 60 years have proven almost one after another that our intelligence agencies, um, either the information that they give is politicized, whether it was um, Eisenhower when um, the North Korean invasion into South Korea um, um, began, there was very little um, uh, referring to intelligence. He went on his instinct and almost didn't listen at all to anything that was said by the intelligence agencies. We go to Gulf of Tonkin, where we wanted to intervene in Vietnam, and we fabricated a motivation to go into Vietnam. Um, the CIA. Um, was also involved, of course, we know in Iran Contra with uh, with uh, Reagan. Um, this was um, where, um, because they weren't under the purview of any legal constraints, which has always been an issue with them, they um, looked to intervene to arm um, the Nicaraguan forces, and that ended up being disastrous. And if we look at all the interventions and the coups, for instance, they, they were the ones that funded the Bay of Pigs, which turned into a disaster um, because they were overconfident over the results they had had in, in Guatemala with deposing the democratically elected leader. Um, then we look at the intelligence failures leading up to, well, we've discussed Vietnam. Um, they, they gave us um, uh, a motivation which um, turned out to probably not be justified. And then in the second Iraq war, we know that there was a massive intelligence failure um, where there was simply uh, not enough trust between the administration, the Bush administration, um, and the intelligence commu community, and uh, not enough was done to emphasize um, how tenuous the connection between Saddam Hussein and weapons of mass destruction was. Um, we know that intelligence failures um, even in 9-11, on the 9-11 attacks, there was a lot of information that potentially could have prevented those attacks. And because of the lack of communication between and information sharing between the agencies, 
that didn't happen, um, and we were not properly warned of the a possibility of those attacks. And most of the interventions in South America, um, where we um, helped prop up um, dictators who were, um, their only requirement was that they weren't uh, communist, but almost all of them were brutal. They committed atrocities. There were, um, in Guatemala, there was a genocide of the, of the local indigenous people. In um, Chile with Pinochet, there were uh, massive uh, human rights violations. So as you go through the history of the last 50, 60 years, it seems like almost all disasters when it comes to the CIA's involvement in, um, in American foreign policy. So there's no way we can, we can say that it was, that it was positive.